Hey everyone, um, uh, I'm gonna make a latte with my Flair espresso maker and my French press for the milk to show you guys how I do it and how I do it with my setup. Um, for the sake of making this video as short as possible, I already measured out my coffee, my water, and I'm ready to actually brew the espresso shot. Uh, and I'll show you guys how that works once I fill it up. So, um, I use for making espresso and stuff, I use this, this, this is the flare that was about 130 bucks. Um, so very cheap compared to, you know, the Breville barista express or something that has everything, you know, that the Breville machine is like 700, $800. Um, and I didn't want to spend that much money since I'm just starting, but you know, I'll, I'll explain more as I pull this shot. So. Right now, what I'm going to do is use the lever to pre-infuse the coffee for a little bit. And then I'm just going to, once I see the drops uh, for a little bit, for a few seconds, let the drops do its thing. And then I'm going to ramp up the pressure. And then I'm just going to ramp up the pressure. And you'll see, well, you can't really see it in the shot, but the coffee is filling up. This takes a lot of strength, a lot of pressure, because it's a manually operated system. See, with an electric machine, this does all this for you. And espresso is actually only created by these high pressures. So, this is a lot of work for this coffee. And this machine makes takes all the electrical work out of making espresso but that means it's all on you as far as the temperature and the pressure you exert on it. You want to make sure it's right. You want to make sure it's consistent, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna let it drip for a little bit. And um, while that's cooling down, dripping, this is the coffee that I'm using. It's from West Oak here in Denton. And um, I already got, I got that bag pre-ground because the grinder that I have at the house just is not quite good enough for, um, espresso it's, it doesn't grind quite fine enough so this is done dripping there's our shot of espresso you see the crema you see the body that little that orangey part swirling around in there and then you see the uh heart of the espresso at the very bottom that dark like black syrupy layer so that's some good coffee some good looking coffee and i'm gonna um take my french press and microwave the beaker or the the pitcher and then um texture the milk and pour it and show you guys okay so our milk is done microwaving so what i'm going to do now is use this french press to texture it and stretch it to give it that um consistency and silky smoothness that you get when you actually um texture coffee on a on an electric machine with a little steam wand so for the French press, it's kind of finicky. What I do is I give it a few really big plunges um, to really incorporate the, those big bubbles of air in there. And then I give it one more and get in there and just give it some swirls, tap it, get the large bubbles out. And just repeat this process like um, I repeat this like four or five times. Okay, so our milk is done and it has that wet paint, melted ice cream look to it. Uh, so it looks good enough for pouring. And so, you know, all that's left to do is just assemble this latte. So I got my espresso shot and I have my, um, my milk and it's ready to go. And I'm just gonna tilt the cup and just pour it in first. And then as you get to the top, I just tilt the glass back and finish filling it. Okay, so now it's done. I just poured the latte and you can see it's a little wonky little heart, but you know, I'm, I'm new to all of this. So, you know, this, that's how you make a latte 
basically. And um, with this setup, um, with the French press, um, the flare, uh, and the kettle to heat the water in, you know, this setup is like half the cost of like an all-in-one machine. Um, although I don't have my own grinder yet, that'll add to the cost, sure. But I mean, you know, this is a cheaper way to enjoy uh, espresso drinks uh, at the house. And in the long run, just it'll save you more money. So, I mean, with that, I mean, that's it. Cheers.